So it was April 16, 2012, um, and yeah, it was a big change. Firstly, work has always been important to me because I, um, I just I enjoy it. I enjoy the interaction, I enjoy sort of thinking and doing things and being involved. Um, one of them which was um, Sky Sports and they were very supportive in saying, you know, when you're ready, um, there was no pressure. So I'd normally sort of do something relatively easy in the, early in the morning from say 8.39 till about 11 o'clock and then that'd be for, for the day early on and then I'd go and rest. I gave up a lot of the consultancies and went back into full-time work. There, there was um, times in the afternoon where I had to, I had to have strategies. I, I'd often um, sort of fall asleep in meetings and not literally having to lie down, but sort of starting to nod off and I found concentration very difficult in mid-afternoon sorts of times. So I then said to myself, well, I'll have to, I, I won't have meetings at that time. I'll, I'll still be at work, but I won't have meetings. And since I got out of hospital was um, always been that if I'm tired, I, I have a rest. Um, and give my body plenty of time to have rest. Um, there, there are still barriers. Um, uh, I can't drive at the moment, and that for a family with three young boys who play sport mm. most days of the week and the weekend, it's put a lot of stress on my wife and having to cope and, um, um, and also ask for favours of friends who have been very supportive as well. Setting realistic and, and, and short-term goals that are realistic um, sure you can have your bigger ones at the end of the day where you want to get to but mm -hmm. you don't want to do that you, you know you can't do that tomorrow so just little steps along the way realize your expectations manage your expectations a little bit um, you know we all know what we could have or what we used to do mm -hmm. um, and in a lot of cases we're not quite um, there mm -hmm. um, yes we we um, want to get there that's the motivation back to being um, you know where we were before mm -hmm. the stroke um, and some cases that's that's a distinct possibility and some cases we might pull, come up a little bit short but in aiming there we can always tr you know we can aim high and, mm -hmm. and get a little bit better than where we are so I'd, I'd manage expectations and maybe you know speak with employees and tell them and help them understand um, what you're going through the issues that are involved what you're capable of doing and and you know, not to um, try to stay out of stressful situations mm -hmm. and things that may cause anxiety, etc. Um, motivation for me is, is purely um, wanting to provide for my family um, mm -hmm. and wanting to be you know, as good a father and husband as I can be. And I guess I've always been a very competitive sort of person, so um, that sort of inner drive and determination is there. But I also manage expectations. One of the issues at the moment is, um, you know, being able to talk openly with, with not only people in general but also particularly employees. And there's a, a wonderful um, toolkit that's available on the Back to Work um, uh, website um, that I think would help with people in how to cope with this, but also for employees as well.